What's going on guys? Today I'm gonna teach you a very simple strategy you can use to trade using two time frames. Okay, now it's not gonna get you the perfect entries, it's not gonna get you, you know, to catch these wicks and whatnot, but it will give you a systematic approach to how you can trade and without really doing TA. Now, don't get me wrong, it's better to of course do TA if you know how. Uh, obviously like levels are respected. So you want to be able to identify those levels if possible. But if you don't really have the time to do that, or, um, you know, you want to keep things simple, you know, relatively less leverage, you're not using hundred X leverage like we use in our discord. Um, but you want to keep it a little bit more loose, you know, just get a few gains here and there. Then this is the strategy that you can use. Okay. Now the indicator that we do use in, uh, in the community here is market cipher B. In my opinion, it is the best oscillator and really one of only two indicators that you need. Um, I do have a full video on that. So go check it out if you haven't seen it. But this is how you can essentially trade using two time frames. It's not that hard. So um, first things first, you need to identify a an, an environmental time frame. Okay, what that means is a larger term time frame where you can essentially assess the environment. Look at how I got front run on this. You can assess, essentially assess your environment. And um, it's basically just a reference point. So step number one is just pick a time frame. Okay. And Again, depending on how you like to trade will depend on your time frame. If you're more of a swing trader, then perhaps you're going to pick your four hour for your environmental. If you're more of a day trader, perhaps you're going to pick your one hour for your environmental. And if you're a scalper, perhaps you're going to pick the 15. Okay, so for this example, let's go ahead and and use um, the, the four hour. Okay, let's just use the four hour. Now, this is uh, the strategy here. So our four hour is our environmental time frame, and we want to pick one other time frame to be our execution time frame. Okay. Now, the way that I find my execution time frame typically is I will divide the environmental time frame by about five, or you can even push it and take this strategy to the to to another level and divide it by either five or ten. Okay. So uh, in four hours, there is sixty one twenty one eight two hundred and forty minutes. All right. If you divide 240 divided by 10, you'll get 24 minutes, which is why I have the 24 minute here. Um, I don't typically trade this way. I don't really swing trade like that, but um, yeah, so you would use the 24 minute. Now this strategy, super, super simple. And again, depending on the time frames that you choose, um, will determine how many trades you enter, obviously. But when this green dot is relatively close to or lower than this 60 line here on market cipher B, right? Obviously we're looking for longs. And when this the red dot here is above the 60 line, which is right over here, you are looking for shorts, right? Of course, you're gonna assess the money flow and your other indicators, but typically you're waiting for your environmental time frame to get either overbought, which is above this line, or oversold, which is below or close to this line down here. Okay, on your environmental time frame. Then you jump down to your, excuse me, you jump down to your executional time frame and you start to look for divs. Now, anyone in my Discord knows that, um, you know, money flow is king. I've said it a million times, I've gotten a few comments on that. And um, so, money flow is the real, real, uh, big divergence that you're looking for on your execution time frame. If you guys don't know what a divergence is, I will make a separate video on that in depth. But essentially what a divergence is, is when your momentum waves or money flow or VWAP or whatever your indicator is that you're looking at is making a lower low, right? Uh, or sorry, sorry, your your is making a higher low, but your price is making a lower low, right? So that is essentially what a divergence is. Now, again, there's a, there are a few ways to look at it and I will make an in-depth video. You can look at it like this as one divergence. You can look at it as like, this is one big hump and this is another big hump. Um, obviously the more divergences, the better, right? We wanna see money flow diverging. We wanna see VWAP diverging um, and the momentum waves diverging. So a few things here, but let's come over to this example. So right over here, we start to have our bull divs if you caught this bull div which i believe i did but if you catch this bull div you know you were um given a nice maybe 1.8 percent move give or take right two percent move not bad um and then this one here is our continued 
divergence, right? The thicker the money flow, the more divergences the uh, price action will present to you. So, you know, we had divergence over time. And then here we had divergence, right, over time. So the oscillator was getting higher and the money flow was crossing up as the price was getting lower over time. So there's your signal to long. Now, again, you're not going to catch the exact wicks doing this. Of course, I have my levels, so I get closer to them. But, um, you know, you can wait for confirmation, right? Even if you waited for your green dot uh, and the green dot to close, you know, you could have gotten in somewhere around here and, um, you know, put your stop loss under the low. Now, obviously, we've been going sideways and we have EMAs, but we do have some liquidity up here. And I don't know how this trade is going to play out um, in the future. But this essentially is your trade setup, right? It, you can see it a lot clearer when price is moving, right? When price is moving and it gets to certain levels that it reacts to, that's when it reacts. So as we have momentum waves coming down over time, right? We're looking for divergences. As we, as we have our momentum waves coming down, we have price significantly going up. There's your signal to short, right? Let's go to where we are on the chart over here. Sometimes it doesn't play out. Let's see where we are on. Okay, so this is a good example here, right? So our four hour was above the 60 line, right? Or... or I mean, it, it was above the 60 line for a few hours. So in general, if you're not in a trade, you're looking for shorts, right? We're not really looking for longs at this point. Once we have a very, very clear red dot printing, um, or you can front run it, you come down to your, uh, not your, your execution time frame, and you start to look for the divergences. And guys, you have plenty of time, you know, you don't need to catch the exact wick. You don't need to like, oh my goodness, it was up here, but now it's down here. I don't want to short from here. No, like trust your indicators, trust market cipher B. That's why it's the best indicator that there is out there. But we had clear, we started to get clear divergences and we had strong divergences. You know, we had one huge hump and then a smaller huge hump. And then within the second smaller huge hump, we had two smaller humps. Right. And then really, we took some time to consolidate. But during this consolidation, you can clearly see money flow was heading down. So you had plenty of time, plenty, plenty of time to um, to hit this short. Right. There was no excuse to not be in this trade. And yeah, sometimes it takes time to, to play out. And again, there are other ways to enter and I will make other videos. But this is a very simple, not really using TA, just using two indicators. You wait for your environmental time frame to top out right? Like it was over here, you know, in this whole area that you're looking for shorts, right? And you're just waiting for the divergences. And, you know, it, it takes some time. These are the four hour candles. So like this, you could have been waiting a day, but you know, for this whole day in general, you're looking for shorts, right? This is the, this is what's going to um, save you from getting absolutely wrecked. We had some vector candles that we had to recover or that not we had to, but we had the um, potential to recover. So you jump on your environmental time or sorry, on your execution time frame, and you start to look for your divs, right here. I mean, these are not really any clear divs. Anyone in my discord knows that I wouldn't have taken those shorts. The first short that you might have taken or that I probably would have taken, um, you know, potentially you could have taken this short. However, money flow was still increasing over time. So I don't really like to take that short. This one is a little bit stronger because we had divergence with the VWAP, which is this yellow line over here as well as two, uh, or as well as like a shorter term um, bear div, but we also had this this big bear div, right? So that would have been the signal to short alongside uh, the confluence of your vector candles. That was it right there, bang, short. So guys, this is that's pretty much the um, recipe for success. The shorter the time frames, the more tricky it's gonna get. And just know that obviously you're, you're gonna have more trades, but you're gonna have to take profits a lot quicker. Um, but what I would suggest is to jump into your environmental time frame and take a look at where the uh, vector candles are. So, you know, you're technically entering on the 24 minute, which is cool and dandy. And, you know, you look to the left and you look for vectors. So we knew this was a vector candle area anyway. So there should have been no shock for price to come down here. But, you know, you could take it even further and now trade based off of the four hour because you've already entered and you entered using the four hour as your environmental time frame, right? So we look to the left and we look for some vectors. Now, if the range, if this starts to break the range, we can absolutely expect, not for sure, but we can, you know, we, we can't be surprised if the price comes down to this area here, right? It's a big area, but 
these are vector zones. So if price ever comes down here and retail and everyone else is like, oh my goodness, Bitcoin is crashing, da da da. Well, I mean, the money's right there, right? Like it's right in front of your eyes. So you can't say it's crashing. You can't say like the bear market's back on or whatever, although I don't think the bull market is here, but that's another story. Um, you can't really say that because the money's right here in front of you. So that's how you can use two time frames, one environmental, one execution time frame to enter a trade with relatively little to no knowledge on how to do TA properly. Um, it's a very, it can be scary, I will say, to to trade this way when you see when you feel like you don't really know um, TA and, and whatnot. However, I will say this, you know, trust your indicators and just as long as you put your stop loss over the high, if you're worried that you're going to take your stop loss, give it a little bit more room. Use smaller position sizes. Practice good risk management. That's very important. I have a whole video that's an hour and a half on risk management. You need to watch. That's very, very important. As long as you're practicing good risk management, you have nothing to worry about. Um, but yeah, this is a relatively high success win rate if you're doing it properly, if you're waiting for your divergences. And the more di the more divs, the better. If money flow and VWAP and RSIs and the momentum waves, all four are diverging, then you know that's what you do. And you stick to your two time frames and you trust the indicator. Sometimes things take time to play out. This right now was the short that we took right uh, over here on the four hour here on the 24 minute. We're chilling. Like it looks like it can continue to drop. It actually looks like we're gonna keep dropping. And um, you know, again, sometimes things take time. You could have entered here and right it's been three days <laughs> obviously these are higher term time frames but it's been three days and we're down like five percent but this trade setup where the line is could eventually take us down to like 20k we don't know right we don't know what's going to happen so this is a good way to trade wait for your divergences on your execution time frame wait for your larger term time frames or your environmental time frame to be either topped out or bottomed out. So in this case, we wouldn't really be looking for a long, for example. And this strategy, oh, sorry, that's the 24 minute. Um, yeah, so here we could actually be looking for longs. Now we would come on to the 24 minute and start to look for bull divs. So if this price drops below perhaps this red line, whatever the case just takes out this low, then we have potential for, for bull divs, right? Um, but yeah, stick to your two time frames. I very strongly suggest you stick to the two. Once you stop, start bouncing back and forth, you can kind of psych yourself out, get it in your head and then close the trade or whatever. And then you ended up, you would have ended up being in the winner. So just trust the indicator. And, um, you know, again, things take time. So make sure you keep that in mind. And then eventually down the line, you'll get better at it and you'll start to find, um, divergences on your environmental time frame as well. So you're not only waiting for it to top out or bottom out, you're also looking for dot for divs and hidden bull divs. Now I'll make a video on that, as I mentioned earlier, but um, that's a quick and easy market cipher B trade setup that you don't really need TA for. It's not very difficult to do. And you know, if you're ever confused or you don't know, or you feel like you're trading alone, um, this is the last thing I'm going to leave you with. Guys, join our Discord. We have a great community. I think I have, there's a good amount of people in here now, which is crazy. I started this whole thing about a month ago and I have over a hundred and maybe 60 people now in the Discord. We're at 244 subs, I believe, at the time of recording this video. So thank you. But yeah, join the Discord. Um, get in with the community and we have a lot of, I mean, we're talking all day in there and you guys can ask some opinions, you know, ask about this strategy. And if you think, oh, is this, do you think that this is going to happen? Um, do you think that this might happen? Whatever, you know, seek advice. We have good traders in there. We got good people in there and a lot of people that are happy to help. So that's what I'm going to leave you guys with today. If you like the content, please like and please subscribe. If you don't have this indicator on the bottom, it is called Market Cipher B. I have a complete tutorial on it. Um, it is expensive, but I do believe it's worth it just for the money flow alone. Again, go watch the video and you'll know what I'm saying. But if you decide that you want to purchase it, I do have an affiliate link in the description. It'll help support me and it'll help me create more videos like this. Um, I give everything away for free. So I, I'm, you don't have to use it if you don't want to, but of course I will appreciate it if you do. And then just like and subscribe and um, join the Discord. Okay, guys, take care. I will see you in the next one. Peace.